Nice to see you all. <laughs> uh, yeah, hello, I'm Nick. I'm a uh, uh, graphic designer that now works for Flip Creative here in the Valley. Well, not here, this is West End, but uh, I work in the Valley. Uh, and as, as Michael said before, I'm a multidisciplinary designer and I specialize in a few different mediums. Um, usually it's graphic design, a bit more motion graphics now, and 3D illustration, and that, that's a bit of an example there. Uh, so when I was asked to speak here today, I was first of all incredibly flattered, thank you. Uh, but I was also very uh, scared and because it was a mystery to me uh, to how to bring value to the, you, the audience, because I'm so early in my career. I'm not at the top of my field. I'm not the most talented. Uh, and I've got a long way to go before I reach some of the stage where I want to be. Uh, so to, to that, I, I've spoken a little bit too quickly. <laughs> I was expecting the next slide. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's, um, yeah, so it's a pleasure to be here in front of you all and I'm excited to see uh, how the rest of my talk will go. <laughs> right, that's the next slide. <laughs> uh, okay, so, <laughs> so what I consider a mystery is problem solving. And I love problem solving. It's something that I've always loved to do. Uh, as a kid, I would pull apart like old watches and like pens and just work out how to put them together and how they came apart. But it usually just meant that I break these things completely, like beyond repair. Um, and, but it satisfied that curiosity that I had and still have. And I think that's why I, when I left high school, I started studying engineering, not, not design. That was, that was a mistake. <laughs> um, I should have started studying design and yeah, but more, more on that later. So I think it's that this journey that I have that's led me to a few uh, opportunities that others haven't so far. I've never been someone who's known what they wanted to do, and that was always a mystery to me. And when I left high school, as you now know, I did engineering, and I did that for two years. Two years of my life wasted there, and I absolutely hated it. Um, I then went on to doing building design, and I hated that way more. Uh, and that was to see if I wanted to do architecture. And I worked as a photographer for about a year, year and a half, and that was getting closer to what I wanted to do, but it wasn't it. Uh, and from there, at the suggestion of a good friend, um, I started studying design and that was some of the best three years that I could have, that was the best time I could have done that. And it really propelled me forward and it's a big part of the reason I'm here today uh, in front of you all, um, that journey. So what do I do exactly? I guess I, I like to dabble and I like to work things out and best example of that is that I've only been at Flip Creative for about five months now. In my first month, I worked out how to animate in code, something I never tried before, um, but something that I'm now doing sort of almost every day as part of my job. So I like to double, I like to work things out, and a few of these illustrations up here is a best example of that. I never got trained in it, I just played around, worked out what I could do, and I was just trying to emulate some of my uh, biggest inspirations that I had at the time. Um, a few of those big inspirations, and on the next slide you'll see some, uh, is Beeple, uh, Ash Thorpe and G-Monk. They're like three 3D animation powerhouses that are just doing some absolutely stunning and amazing work. Uh, so Beeple, you, that's his work up there. Now, both of these were created in one day by him, eight years apart. So he's been doing an everyday series and he hasn't stopped doing an everyday series for like eight or nine years something ridiculous. Um, but this is the biggest, like if anyone can, like it just shows you what hard work and persistence can do. Because that was one of his first months in Cinema 4D. That was maybe a month ago. So it just shows you what hard work and persistence can do and how much it can pay off. And it's thanks to people like that pushing those boundaries and inspiring me to do my own versions that I've been as, success, as successful as I ha have been up until now. Um, people like Ash Thorpe, he's one of the, he's a big inspiration because he does these 
amazing, amazing animations almost by himself and he's just pushing the limits of what a single person can do. He looks like his whole studio made it. Um, and G Monk, if you haven't seen his work, he did stuff on like uh, Oblivion and Tron Legacy, a few big movies. Um, but he's just pushing the boundaries of what uh, CGI and practical effects and melding those two together and, and just creates these amazing results. Highly recommend all of you to look at their work because it brings sort of like a mystery. They're not like, they're all abstract sort of works. Um, so this up here now is one of my first, uh, not tutorial based, but like explorations into 3D. And that was close to two years ago I did that. Uh, so what I would really encourage everyone to do if they're learning a new program is just to, tutorials can only teach you one way of doing things. And during this project, I probably learned more um, about 3D and how things were put together than anything else I could have done at the time because tutorials can only teach you one way where if you teach yourself, you, keep, you know why you're doing things a certain way, not just being told to do things a certain way as well. Uh, so this next project was, I started because I was in a bit of a creative slump. It's 36 days of time. It's put on once a year by these um, people that curate in Instagram. A um, lot of fun and anyone can sort of jump on board. But this was a project that uh, really got me out of a slump when I was sort of really down. And that was, yeah, it was, again, with the other one, with the other projects, it was just sort of to get me out of that and keep propelling forward and, yeah, just working towards something every day. Yeah. Um, Finding a part-time or casual uh, job. We can probably mute this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so that animation was the first animation I did as a commercial project. Um, and yeah, just, just maybe mute it. Yeah, mute it. Yeah. Um, so, so this was the first project I did uh, for animation. And this was by myself. And it was probably, it was a series of six videos and it took like four months of my life to finish, and uh, this is for YouTube Union, um, and I was really fortunate to get that job. And I learned a lot, and I can see all the mistakes now, I hate looking at this. Uh, <laughs> and I think that's the same with anyone who creates their own work, they don't, don't like looking at it for long periods of time. Uh, <laughs> but it was a great learning experience and something that I'm really thankful to have done. So this is an animation I created maybe a, about a month ago, and so that last one, just for one animation, may, maybe about a month worth, three, three to four weeks. This one I created in four days. So in terms of growth, and this is only a year apart from when I created each of these. So in terms of growth, it just means I'm getting faster, I'm getting more productive, and yeah. So it's just a sign of growth. And if you don't think you've, like with any new skill, it, like it takes a lot of time, but as time goes on, you just get faster and better. Um, and this animation is quite simple. Um, it's, got a few, it's got a few extra things than the other one that you can't hear, like add sound effects and stuff like that, which the other one didn't have, which add, definitely adds a new dimension to it. Um, yeah, and I just want to say thank you for, yeah, thank you for having me and listening to me talk. Hopefully I wasn't too boring. <laughs> um, yeah, the time does, just go really fast. Uh, yeah, so yeah, thank you for having me. <laughs>